Deep beneath our feet lies a mystery, an enigma of iron and nickel, a place of immense pressure and heat. This is Earth's core. It's about the size of Mars, and it's about 5,200 degrees Celsius. That's 9,392 degrees Fahrenheit. The core is divided into two parts. There's the liquid outer core, and there's the solid inner core. The outer core is about 2,200 kilometers thick, that's 1,367 miles. The inner core has a radius of about 1,220 kilometers or 758 miles. We can't journey to the center of the Earth. Jules Verne's imagination aside, the intense conditions make it impossible. But we're not entirely clueless. Scientists have developed ingenious ways to study the core. One of the most important tools? Seismic waves. These waves travel through the Earth, generated by earthquakes. By analyzing how these waves change speed and direction, we can create images of the Earth's interior. For decades, scientists have studied seismic waves. They've made surprising discoveries about the Earth's core. One such discovery? The inner core isn't standing still, it spins. But that's not all. Recent research has shown something even more remarkable. The inner core's rotation is slowing down. This discovery was made by analyzing decades of seismic data. Scientists noticed subtle changes in the travel times of seismic waves. These changes indicated that the inner core's rotation was slightly out of sync with the Earth's rotation. Imagine a planet within a planet. The inner core spins at a slightly different speed than the rest of the Earth. But this spin isn't constant, it's slowing down. The slowing rotation of the inner core has profound implications. Why, you might ask? Well, because the core plays a crucial role in generating Earth's magnetic field. This field acts as a shield, protecting us from harmful solar radiation. The exact relationship between the core's rotation and the magnetic field is complex. But scientists believe that changes in the core's spin can influence the strength and behavior of the magnetic field. The slowing core might also be affecting the length of our days. It's a tiny effect. We're talking about fractions of a millisecond per year, but it's measurable. The Earth's rotation is gradually slowing down over time. This is due to various factors, including the Moon's gravitational pull. The slowing core could be contributing to this effect. The discovery of the slowing core is a testament to human curiosity. It's a reminder that we live on a dynamic planet, a planet full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. By studying the Earth's interior, we gain a deeper understanding of our planet's history, its evolution, and its future. The slowing core is just one piece of the puzzle. There's still so much we don't know about the Earth's interior. How does the inner core interact with the outer core? What are the long-term consequences of the core's slowing rotation? These are just a few of the questions that scientists are eager to answer. The Earth is a complex and dynamic system, from the depths of its core to the heights of its atmosphere. Everything is interconnected. The slowing rotation of the inner core is a reminder that our planet is constantly evolving. It's a call to action to continue exploring, to continue asking questions, to continue unraveling the mysteries of our world.